How do you parse a day like this as a quarterback? Obviously, I know you don't want the three turnovers, but also 300 plus passing yards, three touchdowns, 42 points as an offense. Just how do you maybe weigh up the good and bad of a game like this? Yeah, uh, I think you look first at that we got the win, and that's the most important. Um, definitely the way that we got there, and, and Percy, I think, you know, we, we get there a different way and, and score more points kind of thing. And I think we left a lot on the table, even scoring 40 and 42, and so that's encouraging going forward, watching the film and, and being able to know that um, we can't have those turnovers moving forward um, if we want to continue to, to win. How do you kind of pull yourself back together after those first the interceptions at the beginning of the game? Uh, yeah, it's just, you know, trying to just, just flush it right away and, and not really think about it. Um, kind of got to move on. Just the game's going to move on kind of thing. Um, you know, just like when you have a good play, you got to reset and, and be, be emotionally stable so that you can uh, move forward, um, good or bad. And that's why I try to keep it. Do you remember a moment in your college career where that didn't happen? What, what uh, like? Because he called you a grizzled vet. When, when you weren't a grizzled vet, and, and you know maybe emotions <laughs> got got to the best of you. Yeah, um, yeah, definitely. You don't want any turnovers to happen. You don't want any negative plays to happen. And, and so, being able to learn to um, adapt and stuff. Um, definitely early in my career, I you know probably would have managed it differently. Um, but um, at the end of the day, I knew they were plays that I can't make anymore, and so just moving on um, is something I've learned. Talk about um, Omar and Elijah, the number of balls that were kind of maybe 50-50, mm -hmm. like they were well covered when you put it up there, and they went up and got just, you know, how nice is it to have that kind of security blanket where you can put it up and they're mm -hmm. going to go get it? Yeah, it's awesome. Um, those guys are great weapons to have, and um, kind of, you know, I like my, my, my odds every time I throw the ball in, in their area. Uh, I just got to make sure that they can get their hands on it because uh, they can make plays like they did today. How tough does those conditions out there make it for you to throw the ball? Uh, today wasn't too bad. Um, it, was, it wasn't as heavy rain, um, and so he had a pretty good uh, uh, grip on the ball. Uh, our equipment manager did a good job as well as rotating balls and stuff, and so he could fresh. Um, but, uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad. Curtis, how big was that touchdown to Omar Cooper mm -hmm. and the half, just momentum-wise going into that second half? Yeah, huge. Uh, I think it was it was something that um, we wish would have happened sooner, but it was definitely really important to, to have some momentum going to half, going to set the, the second half. Um, yeah, it brought a lot of confidence to me, and I know the rest of the offense, and, 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 and as well as the whole team. Our defense was playing great to that point, and so um, for us to you know capitalize finally was, was important. What are your thoughts on the fan turnout for this one? Oh, it's fantastic. Uh, I mean, we're best fans in the Big Ten now, uh, you know, uh, uh, appreciate everybody who came out and, and you know, look forward to, to many more turnouts like this. Both with the crowd here and maybe just around around town, around campus, do you start to feel the fans buying in more and more? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think, uh, I, again, you know, success brings a lot of attention um, and the more fans we can get out, the better. And so. And our job is to win, and, and, and their job is to, to, uh, to show the support, get in the other team's heads, and, and, and kind of uh, do it together. How does an offense feed off? Again, I know you don't want the four turnovers, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure Maryland even had a first down after any one of those four. I know they didn't score after any of the four. Just how much does an offense feed off a of defense getting big mm -hmm. stops, getting you know moments where you can feel the game might be shifting one way and they just push it back? To go. Yeah, um, our defense was was, was amazing. Uh, being able to uh, not allow any points really off uh, off turnovers was huge, um, and something that um, we noticed as as an offense. Um, and so. Uh, just looking back as an offense, knowing that the defense can, can make the stops, we can look at it moving forward and, and see that, you know, if we just continue to do our job, not turn the ball over, uh, we the, the margin of victory would have been much bigger today. What do you feel like went wrong on the, uh, the, the interceptions early? Uh, just sometimes the eyes weren't in the right place and, and, and just could, uh, could make, a, make a better ball. What stood out about Elijah's performance today? Uh, I mean, he's just consistent. Um, he's, cons he's just always going to be, be reliable. Um, so like like why I like going to him so much because he's he's reliable he's always going to be there and he's um, someone that uh, that I can trust and, and uh, that's going to make a play and so um, you know he had a great game today but he's you know that that's the type of player he is. You guys were able to get Donovan involved down there, get him the touchdown. I know it's been a slow start for him, but I guess how much could he add if you guys can get him more involved and he get more up to speed with the passing game? Yeah, it's huge. I mean, suddenly you forget that there's that type of guy is, you know, is, is also on the team, and, and so you know, glad that he could finally get involved and uh, continue to move, him, use him moving forward because uh, you know he's a tremendous athlete. He's got um, all the skills in order to to, to make big plays. Um, so I'd love to keep him involved. You guys have been breaking team records week in and week out. Now 5-0 for the first time since 67. Mm -hmm. How do you handle those and just move on to the next week? Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, 
you know, five and zero oh is awesome. It's it, it's uh, but it's not the end. We got to keep going and and look to to Northwestern next week. Um, you know, offensively, we we feel like we could do much better. We could have put um, you know, fifty, sixty, you know, up. up today and and, um, and so we have a lot to, lot to build on and so we can't be complacent and, and you know just got to chase for the next week win, win the next week um, and not really look about the whole picture although it's uh, it's great to achieve for sure. What did the preparation look like going to this game knowing there was rain and bad weather? Yeah I mean you can't really look too much about the, the external elements you really got to control what you can. Um, it's you know, preparation was the same as every single week, knowing that you know if it's going to rain, it's going to rain, um, and you just got to be able to continue to keep that mindset that it's um, you can't let it affect you. And do the best you can um, and, and move forward. Thanks, Curtis. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thank you.